Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this pattern in Adobe Photoshop. First off, we are going to create a new file. Go ahead and click on Create New File, and then I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. Artboards is deselected, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, and then background content set to transparent. I'm going to go ahead and click on Create. To start off with, I'm going to go ahead and create a grid layout. We're going to go to View, New Guide Layout, and then I'm going to go two columns and two rows and then click on OK. That way we have our center point here. Next, I'm going to access the pen tool. If you right click, uh, the keyboard shortcut for the pen tool is P and we're just going to use the uh, regular pen tool here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and push D on the keyboard to get my default colors here. Under the pen settings, we have a shape selected here. With the pen tool, we are going to create a shape. So I'm going to start in this corner here, selecting a point. And then I'm going to add another point here at the top. One at the middle. One at the bottom left here. And then we will go ahead when you are uh, using the pen tool and you hover over your original point, you'll notice that circle icon where it's showing that you are going to be completing your shape so we'll click here as well and now we can move to the move tool which is B on the keyboard and we have our basic shape here so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this command or control J and then let's go ahead and flip it so I'm going to go to edit transform path and then we are just going to flip this horizontally and then we will go ahead and just align it here for a moment. And with that shape, we are going to bring it down. So I'm going to go Command or Control T. Thinking about the dimensions of our canvas, we use a 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. So I'm going to move it down here. So we have our X value set to 900 pixels, and then we're going to move this to 1200 pixels. Clicking on OK, and then I'm going to duplicate that layer, Command or Control J, Command or Control T to transform it again. So we have it here at the bottom, and then we want it again at the top. So we're going to leave our 900 value, and then we will go X is, or Y is 0, and then just clicking on OK. And then we have the basis of our pattern here. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, Command the minus key here. And then I'm going to get rid of those grid lines. So we're going to go view, clear canvas guides. And then I'm going to turn on the pattern preview tool. I'm going to use one of my Photoshop actions that I've created to easily turn on and turn off the pattern preview tool here. If you need to do that, you can go to view pattern preview. So we have our repeating pattern here. So let's go ahead and define it. To define a pattern, you go to Edit, Define Pattern. Again, I have a action set up where I can just click, and if I bring up my Patterns window here, it, I can see my newly created pattern here. So let's go ahead and test this in another document. I'm going to go File, New. We're, this time we're going to use the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper, 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, and then we'll just leave the other things the same and click on Create. And then I have an action that I've created, Pattern Test, where I can quickly bring up a color fill layer, a pattern fill layer, and then another color fill layer. To get to these uh, particular layers, you can click on the adjustments here in the layers panel and you can select the solid color or the pattern layer here. Um, but I like using the action because it just brings it up quick. And then I will leave a link to these Photoshop actions in the description below where you can purchase them in my Etsy shop. So clicking on this pattern fill layer, I'm going to select my newly created pattern. And then with this pattern fill layer, we can double click here. When this dialog box is open, you have the option to move it around. If you want to position it differently, if you want to get back to the original, just click on snap to origin. And then you have the option to scale it down. So let's go ahead and scale it down uh, to 50%, make it a little bit smaller for this size of uh, digital paper. And then we'll select OK. Here on the color fill layers, you can easily uh, change out your colors. If we select a different swatch here, 
And then you can just kind of play with the uh, colors here. It makes it really easy to adjust the colors of your pattern. And then if you want to uh, save this as digital scrapbook paper, you're going to go to File, Export, Export As. Under File Settings, you can select your file. So in this case, we're going to go add JPEG. And then Quality, you have the option to bring it up. Typically when doing digital scrapbook paper, you want a higher quality so you can bring it all the way up. And then I like to um, click embed color profile and then just click to export your pattern. Thank you for watching this video on how to create this pattern in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Be sure to check out my other tutorials on how to create patterns in Photoshop. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.